for if I have confession to make. My life, the way I live today, hurts you more than helps you. I don't allow myself to think about it all the time, but I carry a sense of guilt for the way my actions contribute to more waste, pollution, and destruction of the natural world. And since I'm in church on this Earth Day, it is time for me to come clean. Instead of contributing to the problem, I want to help save the planet. <laughs> And with all of your 
approval, congregation voting, we hope to become an officially certified green congregation. Oh, now you're talking. So many times it seems like we humans make decisions based only on the cheapest cost. However, when human beings make decisions based on money, you end up paying the price. Cheap goods and fossil fuels are contributing to the climate change and hurting other species as well. Yes, we know that we will have to pay more in order to have green energy, but this investment is good for all. That's why I'm a member of Interfaith Power and Light. That is why Don Allenson and others are encouraging you to switch to green energy. The more people join together in supporting renewable resources, our dependence on fossil fuels will lessen. Well, the truth about cheap fossil fuels is that they aren't cheap when you look at their impact, and you're going to run out. I'm glad to hear human beings are beginning to recognize other natural resources, like the sun, wind, and water. These resources are cleaner. However, you also need to recognize that each of you consume more resources than your sustainable share. Yes, I know. Old habits die hard. I bought a hybrid car because it consumes less gasoline and emits fewer carbon gases, but it takes a real change in order for me to leave that car parked and take public transportation or walk to my destination. Well, you certainly have begun to plant your seeds. Now please remember, instead of saving the earth, you need to save yourselves. Human beings used to think that whatever you did for yourself was good for the earth. It's time to recognize that whatever is good for the earth is good for you. Instead of pushing for industrial growth, you need to transition to a life-sustaining green society. Earth? I have a question to ask you. I'm almost afraid to hear your answer, but how often do you get this opportunity? Is it too late for us? Hey, Ralph, why would we do them all of a sudden? Human beings sure like to think life is a struggle. When are you going to wait until the reality that life is worth celebrating? For centuries, you've been thinking of nature as your enemy, something that you need to battle or conquer. If there is to be a livable world for future generations of humankind, you need to do more than change light bulbs. You need to change the way you live in relation to me, the Earth. Oh, of course, you're right. I have a favor to ask. Since it is Earth Day, do you think you can remind us of some of the ways we can improve our relationship with you? I'd be happy to. Since it is my session today, I'd really be happy if all of you out there will promise to make these changes by responding. We will. Oh, sure, that's the least you could do. Will all of you do that with me? We will! Groovy. Alright. <laughs> will you find ways to cut back on driving? We will! Will you reduce consumption of electricity? We will! Uh, will you switch to green power? We will! A little, a little hesitant on that one. <laughs> will you switch to green power? We will! Will you reduce, reuse, recycle? We will! Will you buy the local? We will. Or at least try. <laughs> will you become agents of change? We will. Thank you, Earth, for all of the gifts you offer us. On this day, we celebrate you and make commitments that take us to a more sustainable future. We are agents of change in our individual actions, as a religious community, and in our ability to inspire collective change. Our faith calls on us not only to change our light bulbs, but to change our lives. Blessed be.